This is the video for how to create the side pieces uh, for your automata box from the PLTW automata, automata box kit. So um, we're going to go back to Inventor and in our previous video we showed you we asked you to create a project file that was 2017 OCT. You can call this whatever you wish but as I come into here you can see I'm going to click on projects I make sure that I'm in my correct project file. Now we're going to go to file and we're going to go to new and we're going to be in English. We're going to be in inches standard inch IPT. IPT means inventor part and we're going to say create. So one of the things uh, we can do is we go back and we're going to look at this drawing. You're going to notice that the width is 4.006 and the height is 4.004. Um, we're going to go ahead and just make whole numbers. We'd encourage you to do that with your students. This is going to be a four by four square, four inches by four inches. So I'm just going to hit tab and we're going to come into here. Now we're going to ask you to open up the primitives. Uh, we're going to use the box command for this. If you don't see primitives up here, all you have to do is just drag your mouse on top of any icon you see up here and right click and go down to show panels. And if you don't have a check mark next to primitives, click that check mark and you should see the primitives box somewhere up here in your tray. So we're going to click on the word box down here. We're going to go down to box and we're going to click on XY plane. Now, as we go in to make our sketch, there's multiple ways that we can go about doing this. I'm going to teach you as we go along different ways to make sketches in Inventor. So we're going to click on our origin. And as we drag out, like we said before, the width is four and the height is four. So I'm going to do this. I want you to start typing in the word width and then hit space and hit equals and then hit the number four. Then hit tab and then type in the word height and then type in the word equals and then type in the number four. And we're going to hit equals. Or hit enter. I'm sorry. Hit enter. Now, I'm going to go back to here. Now, the depth of these pieces, I didn't choose two like a side view or anything like that, um, is 0.23. So it's just, you know, just barely under a quarter of an inch thick. So we're going to go back. And what you notice about going into using the primitives icon is automatically it takes me to extrude. And I can highlight my one. And I'm going to type in the word depth equals 0.23. And we're going to hit enter. And there you have your little side piece. Now the reason why we typed in the word width and height and depth is we can go to this manage tab up here at the top and we can go to parameters. And you're going to notice that what we put in here now has a name. So you will eventually be putting holes in the sides of these to find the center of this. So what we can do when we place our holes eventually, which we're not going to do in this video, is we can just say, you know, height divided by two and width divided by two and it's automatically going to give us that center point. You're not going to have to go in and change anything. The other thing that's nice about doing things with parametric equations is let's just pretend that our width was 5. I can hit enter, hit 5, and hit enter, and it's automatically going to adjust. I'll do something ridiculous to say the, the, the height was 10, and hit enter. Look at what's automatically happening. So let's say you're like, man, I totally messed up that dimension. i got to go back. I can just come right back into this um, parameters box and automatically change my stuff. So your side pieces are going to wind up being exactly the same. You have two sides and they're both going to be the same size and they're both going to have the same size hole in them eventually. So all we have to do when we go to save up here is we're going to save this as side. You're going to notice I've already gone in and made all these parts in here. What I want you to do is just type in the word side and hit save. It's going to ask me. It's already there. Do you want to replace it for the sake of this video? I'll say sure. So yes, you have your side made. And so now you're done with just that piece. We'll eventually come back in um, and, and put holes in the objects once we start getting to more features of the automata box. So this has been a video on how to create these side pieces.